to Adventure Story Channel video. Today, my dear friends, we will talk once again about this fuel oil filling system. We will see some more details. We will see that here uh, we have the names of the decks, upper deck, first deck, sunken deck. And from here we can understand where is the location of our tanks. And after that, to find uh, the piping and the positioning, we have some signs to look for. Let's see, as we check here, we have a side glass. This is indication of side glass. And from there, we can understand that this is a overflow pipe of low sulfur MGO service tank, which is located starboard side. We have also the quantity of the tank. We have some low level alarm switches and high level alarm switches, a level switch which also must be tested and normally this must be tested weekly in weekly basis because uh, it's really really necessary that these alarms are working and will make any pre-warming for uh, us as engineers we will be more quickly to respond for this kind of alarms Another thing that we can see here, we have start and stop level switches, which apply and we see also there is some cable connections here, which going also to auto start and stop. And also the same thing for uh, our how, uh, heavy fuel oil transfer pump. We can see that also the cabling, this is a cut it indication of the line show us uh, that we have start stop limits for heavy fuel oil settling tank and low sulfur heavy fuel oil settling tank that we are going to fill we do not have any uh, start and stop when we are giving outside here to the manifold so we need to control the level on the tanks and from the tanks we are suction we need to control them and also as you can see here if we suction overflow tank we also need to be there and control the pump locally so the pump will not stop if you are suction suction a overflow tank or if you are suction of a fuel oil clean leak tank as we have here in many vessels there is not kind of these tanks everything from an engine and from diesel generator leakages going here but uh, here they have separated so it will be more easy to identify these kind of leakages uh, most of the leakages that was coming from diesel generator wa was not detected in the previous uh, vessels was really really difficult to detect because some of this diesel generator leakage was going to oily bilge tank and as we know, oil bilge tank was about 30 to 40 cubics, depends also the vessel size and was really, really difficult to identify. So from this diesel generator, the most of the leakage that you have previously in the Himson engines was from the filters itself. There was a button. So when you turn the filters, you press this button and all the dirty was blown down to the tank but after a short period this kind of blowdown system from the filter was clogged and remained in open or in semi open position and from there you was losing a fuel because if you touch the line below you will see that it's a hot normally it must be a normal temperature engine room temperature uh, down below in that piping let's say this is the two filters the fine filters the last filters which is attached locally to diesel generator and there's buttons down on these filters and going two pipes here and after that they connected to one common pipe and about uh, 30 centimeters or 40 this pipe must be uh, engine room temperature about so if uh, I was observed that there is a increase of temperature that means it has leakage and it was more difficult to detect when you have a diesel running 
to your diesel generator because diesel have about the same temperature as the surrounding area of engine room so uh, about the level if the guys was suctioned from the oily bilge tank you cannot determine that one because there is making transfers to the incinerator and in most cases uh, the incinerator is a really really bad uh, item for usage of burning the sludges always because uh, if you suction from all these tanks let's say sludge tanks oily bilge tanks you cannot have a clear uh, control of all these sludges and for me the best solution that can be applied also from the regulations and uh, from the companies in oil tankers because the oil tankers have this opportunity is to transfer all these kind of sludges uh, direct to slope tanks there is two slope tanks port side and starboard side and the quantity that ships have it really really small and this is also a good quality of oil which can also be taken uh, by the companies and by the refineries to make something else just imagine if all this oil will be collected from all the tankers around the world and will not be burned inside the incinerators how much better uh, and more clear environment we will have just imagine we just threw the money inside the incinerator like that and we are burning millions and thousands of uh, liters of oil and in most cases this is clean oil because this oil coming from the separators this is let's say heavy fuel oil this oil can be used for a, a renewable energy or some for some kind of reheating or some kind of burning uh, and cleaning next in next stages but this is this uh, things better knows the refineries uh, and they must find some way to improve uh, that section of uh, oil so what we will improve by this one we will have a more better and clean air environment we will have all this oil collected we will save a lot of mining hours and a lot of uh, working hours of uh, the people involved on this uh, handling of the sludges we will have we will have less entries inside the oil record book and also we will reduce the spares which uh, will be buy it for the incinerator maintenance also we will reduce the production of these spares that which means also the reduction of uh, co2 production uh, around the globe just imagine how many ships burning that uh, oil inside we will have only positive things uh, that we can think about and also one of the most important thing that we will improve uh, the safety of the vessels itself we will improve the safety from the reason that we will reduce the risk of fire from the incinerator the incinerator as i have seen and as i have communicated with most of the person they have seen a lot of things happen and also i have met one guy where uh, they have an explosion to the incinerator and uh, he how he was affected from this explosion and about he lost 20 or 30 percent of his vision so just be careful with these things and these items i believe this will improve uh, will have only positive uh, footprint on the vessels itself on the crew and also on the environment so uh, share as much as possible this video uh, put also some likes so this video will be transferred uh, for this regulatory uh, people and they will apply as much as possible uh, this opinion they can check also by itself but when we are uh, sharing together these items 
and we talk about that for sure we will have to improve something and we will not stay uh, in the same position as always something must be changed and something must be improved for the better uh, of all of us so we can see also here that all this piping here there is a lot of pipings here coming and fall down to one common and going to overflow tank also our overflow tank have temperature indication have level switch for alarm uh, high so also this alarm must be tested and also it's very very important for testing uh, also the adjustment of the alarm it's really really important you must check also how when you are testing this alarm okay if it's working but also you must test it in real conditions so you must to see how many cubics you will have inside when the alarm will come because i have seen many discrepancies from uh, the actual indication and the alarm i have seen the alarm coming in 20 cubics and this is not so properly okay if it's coming for 20 cubics you will see for sure uh, that you have alarm but if it not comes at all it's really really important thing because you have a lot of uh, piping coming here you have also uh, the most important which is the overflow from the heavy fuel oil settling tank and if you have forgotten your pump your transfer pump in manual it will be filling 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 until okay it's also have a level alarm but if it's never tested it will be overflow and the last alarm which will be uh, and will protect your uh, engine room for overflowing uh, somewhere else it will be this overflow tank also here we have some details uh, for the bunkering sample it shows that we have a uh, four holes diameter four millimeters it's inserted inside a pipe of 10 millimeters diameter and half a close end on the top so it's sampling here and also what else we can see in the lines here we can see that we have also a safety valve placed here in the line in the bunker line so in case that the pressure will be increased here in the line it will uh, transfer here and will open and will slack to another tank similar here we have also the same kind of uh, pressure relief valve really in other vessel i cannot see this kind of uh, modifications and improvements uh, but in some vessels really really they uh, make such systems also here we can see that this kind of valve it's a gate valve this is a metallic shield which is coming across vertically uh, personally i prefer uh, the butterfly valves because it's very very quick to open and close them but only thing you need to do is secure your butterfly valves by a rope because they can be affected by the flow this kind of valves uh, in on the other hand uh, these gate valves it's not affected at all and it's really really hard to open and close them and you lose a lot of time for that one another thing that we can see we have also the heating element which is going across on the tank and also i will upload some images so you will see and we, we can make a video about how a tank look like what we check inside the tank uh, after cleaning after dry dock and what we can inspect uh, in the tank itself how to operate the coils the heating coils the steam heating coils uh, so not to do not have any uh, troubleshooting and further damage to the tubes inside we have also some drains placed here and also we have the suction of the tank 
The suction of the tank shows us that this is a quick closing valve and also the suction pipe inside in the tank have 400 millimeters uh, distance from the bottom of the tank. That means always there, there is a unpumpable uh, fuel that remains inside and this unpumpable fuel almost it's about 10 to 15 cubics depends uh, the total square area of the tank because if you see here that this is uh, 1643 and if you know the area of the tank and the height you can find how many cubics uh, will remain inside there is always unpumpable about uh, 10 to 15 cubics depends the ship size the tank size and these parameters so we have also temperature indication here of all of the tanks which is also very very important as we have said that do not go lower than 40 degrees as you will avoid a lot of the problems and also never drop the temperature below 70 degrees celsius on your settling tanks because it will help as much as possible your purifier to operate in the maximum uh, cleaning effect and capacity because if the temperature is very very low it will affect for sure your filters and your purifier on the cleaning itself so i believe most of the important things we have said here if you have any questions you can comment down below I will be really, really uh, glad to hear any use from you and just stay tuned here. More videos will be uploaded on the future and more piping diagrams and we will see more details here on this channel. Don't forget also to use the memberships. Uh, I have created also one last membership which is uh, called Adventure Story Academy. And there already there is uploaded already five interesting videos and will be uploaded more and more uh, by the time. Thank you again and see you in the next videos. Bye bye.